Hello everyone, my name is Sari and you are watching my knitting podcast videos and my YouTube channel. This is the fifth episode of Sweater Chronicles, um, which is a mini series I've been making on my YouTube channel. Uh, in this mini series, I've been talking about knitwear designing and uh, writing knitting patterns, especially for sweaters. And as I said, this is the fifth episode of the mini series, and I'm talking about drawing charts for, especially for cables or for fair isle knitting. Um, in the first episode of the mini-series, um, I talked about submissions, uh, submitting work for uh, knitwear publications, uh, magazines or yarn companies. The second episode was about swatching. Um, then I talked about grading and the last episode was about um, writing knitwear patterns, like the basics of um, pattern writing and also calculating pattern repeats for, for cable patterns. And if you are uh, making a cabled design, then you are going to need charts. Um, there are people who prefer working from charts, uh, such as me, and then there are people who rather use the written instructions. And um, in my design work, I try to provide both if that is possible. But for example, if you are um, making a stranded knitted, so color work chart, then I think you, or color work project, then you definitely are gonna need the charts because um, it's really hard to write them in words. So I'm gonna show you what tools I use and um, how they work. Um, there are plenty different um, knitwear um, like charting tools online. One of them I think the most commonly used is uh, Stitch Mastery but um, I think it's quite pricey, uh, especially compared to Stitch Fiddle that I use. So, so I usually use Stitch Fiddle and today I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, Stitch Fiddle is an online website. Uh, you can use it for free, but if you want to use all the functions and be able to save more than five charts, then um, you have to um, pay a little. I think it is 1.5 euros per month. That is something like 1.64 dollars, uh, US dollars per month. Or if you want to pay a whole year in advance, like I did, I think it's something like 13 euros. So it's pretty cheap in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you how the website works. Uh, I'm recording the screen at the same time I have my laptop over here, so I'm going to show you how it works and what it looks like. So, let's start. This is how the website looks like, so it's called Stitch Fiddle. And if you are already a member, uh, here's the sign uh, login and the free sign up. And you can choose what type of uh, pattern you are making. So um, knitting, crochet, cross stitch or something else. So I'm going to choose knitting. And here um, colors, lace, cables, brioche, mosaic or other. You don't really have to choose here what you are making. You can change later and you can um, do a chart that has both a lace and cables and colors if you want so you don't have to like limit yourself to these a few options here so i'm gonna choose the cables because that's um how i've been designing the two pullovers the onion pullover that i've been showing to you and the gotham uh, pullover that's the one with the cable cable all our cable pattern and turtle, turtleneck um, so I'm picking cables and first of all how I work, uh, here's the flat knitting option. Um, you can choose whether you start with a right side row or a wrong side row, whether you only want to show the 
right side rows and um, hide the wrong side rows and also there's an option of knitting in a round and I'm gonna take the flat knitting uh, starting with a wrong si uh, right side row so here's the grid size um, the default is 20 by 20 but you can easily change this later if you want to add rows or or columns or if you want to make a smaller chart so you don't really have to know yet what what size you are making so here we go I'm gonna create a chart so you can see how it looks like and here at the um, top of the page we have um, the title we can change the title let's this is called the sweater chronicles test chart and you can still change the direction um, whether you want to work from bottom up or from top down for example if you are knitting um, socks you usually work if, if it's a cuff down sock then you usually draw the chart so that you are working from um, top down so and here um, you can change the number of the starting row so if, for example if my pattern starts at row 5 instead of row 1 you can change it here easily now the name is saved and um, here we have some basic uh, cable patterns so this is um, 1 over 1 cable uh, 1 over 1 pearl and to the other this is the right cable and left cable and the same and this uh, gray one is usually a no stitch mark and this red one can be used to outline pattern repeats um, let's start adding stitches here um, here we have basic stitches that you can choose from um, knit increases make one make one left make one right yarn over and so on different types um, pearl increases yarn over increases uh, decreases so this is um, ssk knit two together uh, knit three together uh, knit SS, sk um, and so on different types over here the same ones for pearls and uh, two stitch cables different times here through back loop um, three stitch cables four stitch cables for example seven eight and there are some brioche stitches um, crochet there's some misc uh, for example, here's the true back loop, usually used as a um, symbol for true back loop, and um, some cross stitch, different numbers if you need them for something, and letters, for example, I use the B letter for bubbles. Um, let's pick um, six stitch cable. Here's a very basic basic one. This is I think two over no this is three over three and here's um, four over two or two over four for example. So let's pick this one and I can start adding them here. So let's put one over here and then the second one here and here and we have a little cable pattern go going over here and then i want a column of pearl stitches i can either oops here's the back space you can do do again so i can either paint the whole column or then i can just like pick this one and okay this is something you can only do with the, the premium premium version. I'll show it to you a bit later. 
and then I can, I, I'm, if I want, I can add here another type of cable, for example, here and here and here. Let's make this so that it happens more often, like this. And again, let's add a pearl row and to finish it off, I'll add some traveling stitches. So let's add this one and this one and here we go and last one and I'll still have the traveling stitch. So let's pretend we are having here some traveling stitches. And here we go. Let's just do something over here quickly. Okay, so this is my chart now. Then I decided this is my my pattern repeat, so I'll just take this over here and crop it. So here we have a pattern repeat. If I then want to add one more row, because I only have seven rows over here, so if I want a repeating pattern, then I can just easily add here one row a bow and I can make one more wrong side row over here if I wish to do so for a pattern repeat. So this is how you draw a simple chart with Stitch Fiddle. I'll just quickly sign in so you can see all the um, different um, um, options that you can ha use when you are signed in and for example you can save the save the chart so here's my so I'm gonna log in and now I have saved saved it so for example I showed you the different options now that I have signed in I can show you I can fill this with the whole row or more than one row if I want to um, fill, a, fill a whole section over here let's say I want to for some reason fill this with whole stitches then I can do it like that um, if I want to add some pattern repeats, I can easily add them over here. So I want the knitter to repeat this part of the pattern and it's easily outlined. Um, over here you can change the names of the, the stitches and we have unused ones over here so let's take them away so this is pattern repeat just quickly write the names of the stitches over here so this is three by three left cable And this is two by two left cable. And we need this for the legend. This is one over one left cable. 
and we need this also for um, if we want a written chart easily then we can use these ones so I'm just gonna take these and here we have all the legends now ready so if I want to download the chart and we have here at the bottom just apply so here is our chart now and we can put this in our pattern and everything is over here and we have the legend over here you can write anything you want over here so if I want a written instruction over here here's the written instructions and you can change over here if you want it to say round or R and D short for round or just R or row or if you want them to be in capital letters or you can still change the knitting direction and so on and here is the um, written instructions so what i don't like about stitch fiddle um, I don't think these written instructions are that great. Um, for example, you can see over here that it doesn't write Perl 1, it's just like P. And um, it doesn't usually know um, like pattern repeats. For example, here you can see P1 knit one true back loop, uh, P1 knit uh, true back loop when you could like write this um, like in parentheses and like twice but um, I'll just copy the written instructions and then we can uh, copy them to a uh, uh, word document so let's make the font a bit bigger So you can see what I'm doing. And the color black. Here we go. So if I want to write this out, I would start everything with a capital letter. And this should be Pearl 1. And as you can see over here, it doesn't really um, show the pattern repeats very well. So I would do it like this. Take this away. And same here at the end. Pull on. And so on. Just write out the whole whole pattern and make the corrections over here and then we can add the picture here we have the chart and the written instructions of course there's still some work for about the written instructions that i have to do so we are back at uh, stitch wiggle and i can show you quickly here are my charts so i have quite a lot here and let's make a new one so i'll take knitting again for example lace let's start one um, here are some lace patterns uh, lace symbols um, to begin with if you want to make the chart a lot bigger then you can add multiple columns for example let's add then so i have a bigger one over here i'll just make something it doesn't matter what this is but i'll just like 
something this doesn't really make sense what I'm doing but I'll just show you quickly things that you can do with this one so let's pretend this is something I want to make so I can just take this one and copy and then start adding things over here if I want to make something like this um, let's make a new one for colors empty chart and if I want to add colors over here I can pick anything so it's not restricted to these few colors over here and I can change the uh, simple color as well and description um, you can you have both abbreviation and description so this one is for the legend and this one is for um, the written pattern so for example for the written pattern you might want to use just k and p and for the description you want to write it out as neat and pearl if you want to but i can start drawing here anything i want let's do something really simple so and if i want this one as written instructions then it looks like this white and red and white again so again the red one is marked with just r but um I can correct it easily later so this is um, how it works so this is how I draw charts uh, like I said stitch fiddle is um, you can use it free of charge but if you want to use all the all the um, options all the functions then it costs a little so 1.5 euros per month or if you buy the whole year it's it's a bit cheaper but there are different um, like I said different um, programs as well but I haven't used um, any of them I, for some reason I've I think um, uh, stitch fiddle is really easy and because you can use it online um, you can use it, access it uh, on your mobile phone, for example, or your tablet, and it's really easy to make changes for your. If you are, for example, knitting a color work chart uh, on the go, and you decide you want to change something, you can change it on the go, so you're not bound to your home computer to run a complicated program for that one. So that's why I like it. Um, if you have been using other programs for charts and you would like to tell um, your opinion about them, I would really be interested in hearing which ones you use and um, if you like using them. But um, Stitch Fiddle is good for starters. I think um, I've managed to do everything I want with it. Sometimes, for example, for the onion sweater, um, there's a 12 stitch cable and the stitch fiddle only has 8 stitch cables so what I do is I um, download the chart and then um, so I make them uh, cables eight, the largest cables so 8 stitch cables over there and then I download the chart and open it with uh, Photoshop and then I just like copy the uh, the box with the cable and make it longer so it looks like a thin stitch cable so those little tricks uh, for for making um, the pattern perfect in a way um, but this is what I use for making cables and I hope you have uh, enjoyed this little tutorial and let me know if you have something on your mind. Bye!